Hello guys and welcome to this video. Um, in our previous video, we talked about a geometry sequence, our progression. We gave its first term, I mean the definition of its first term, its common ratio, and its sum, its general sum, which is actually Sn equal to A times 1 minus R to the N divided by 1 minus R. Okay? Today, we're just going to practice uh, working out this exercise right here, okay? And in this exercise, we are given uh, information about two geometry sequences, uh, which would allow us to uh, find the re I mean, to find the value of R. So first of all, we will start by interpreting the first geometry sequence. Uh, we get a value of, of uh, I mean, its first term is A, its common ratio is R, and we're having it sum to the infinity, which is which is equal to s. And it's sum to infinity means that we are only gonna work out with r the absolute value of r less than one. You know, this is what it means. Means that the sum to the infinity only applies when the absolute value of r is less than one. Okay. And if we consider r here less than one. Uh, let's take like a one half 0 0.5 the more you'll be increasing this power here the less that this value will be going okay and at the end this whole term will be turning to zero so we will say therefore that the sum to the infinity equals to a divided by 1 minus r and this is going to be equals to s okay in our second geometry sequence, we're having the first term equals to A, and the common ratio to R, and the sum to the infinity 3s. Okay, and we're using the same information we have here about the sum to the infinity to say that A divided by 1 minus R will be equal to 3s. Okay. So now we're having the first um, geometric sequence that we call 1, which is giving us A divided by 1 minus R equals to S. And the second one uh, will give us A divided by 1 minus R, and this is equal to 3S. Okay? Okay, as you can see, uh, I correct uh, 2R here because I, I thought I said before it was R, but actually the common ratio here is 2R. That was a little mistake here. I didn't pay attention. So we have 2R here, and this is going to be correct in here, 2R. So now that we have this two function in the like this, we can isolate S here, okay, and find, I mean, and compare it to the first one. We mean that we can do something like this. So we're going to divide by 3 on both sides, right? We're going to divide by 3 here and by 3 here. This is going to give us uh, A divided by 3 minus 6R equals to S. Okay? And now, as you can see, we're having 1 equals to 0. S equals to S. So we're going to put it all together by comparing. We have in here a divided by 1 minus r equals to a divided by 3 minus 6r. Okay? And now by cross multi multiplying, the a will cancel out. So we will have, therefore, um, 3 minus 6r equals to 1 minus r okay so when we say we cross multiply and the a cancel out okay so now we can pass 6r to this side okay we pass uh, 6r to the side it's going to become plus 6 R and then taking minus one. Oh, okay, it's missing an inequality here. Let's like this. Okay, and taking minus one to the other side. Gonna come here 
and become uh, is one and become minus one. Okay. Therefore, we'll be having we'll be having on this side uh, two equals to five r. Okay. Then we're going to divide by five here. So we divide by five on this side and by five on that other side. It's going to give us r equals to five and a half. Okay.